Middleton and today we've got an opportunity to show you the MY0809 MY10 Subaru Impreza WRX SDI. I want to get that description correctly because of course we all call it the SDI. And the Australian delivered car obviously comes with a 2.5 litre turbocharged non-twin scroll engine. Overseas in other parts of the world you can get this car with a 2 litre engine twin scroll typically in Japan. But what I'm going to do today is show you the dyno graphs of before and after improvements with our XA upgrade power kit, XB upgrade power kit and then also a suspension upgrade kit obviously courtesy of all the goodies and components from Whiteline. So stay tuned through a whole video, there's a lot of technical information we're providing you here on this one as a complete package and I want to show you individually what the parts are. So starting at the back of the car you can see we've obviously replaced the exhaust system um, part of the XB kit is a complete exhaust system upgrade combined with the uh, factory retuned ECU using Ecutec software. Minimum guarantee upgrade, 30 kilowatts, factory warranty guarantee, lifetime warranty on the parts. So if you own the car for 10 years, something breaks on your exhaust, we'll fix it for free. And of course, factory warranty guarantee for the life of your Subaru factory warranty, whether it's three years or five years, which is an incredible warranty. So, power kit upgrade is obviously the exhaust which we'll show as we transfer it down to the front of the car. The suspension upgrade I want to show in detail. We've fitted adjustable rear white line sway bar with the stiffening brace which is critical to stop the bar on the mounts twisting under load. We've also supplied and fitted the rear diff mount bushes which stop the diff moving around on the rear subframe. Now what is actually not fitted, and I've just noticed this now, but we've actually got some suspension bushes that we've got to fit in here, but I'll show you a still photo of that in a minute. And of course, the exhaust system as we move forward, big, thick, meaty, chunky brackets and plates so they won't distort under load. Um, under a period of time, what can happen is the thinner Japanese Chinese made exhaust systems with thin flanges will actually warp and distort and cause an exhaust leak over time. Up the front here you'll notice we've only replaced this one bush. We haven't done the one on the other side. Reason being is this particular bush is a void filling bush. It replaces the voids in the movement of the bush on this side. But this one here is a replacement pressing bush. But we don't change that one because it increases NVH. And noise vehicle harshness is that horrible noise that you get driving down the road where the road noise is transferred through the bodywork into the cabin of the car and tends to make it uncomfortable to drive. Of course, again moving forward, complete exhaust system, it's a little bit grubby because we haven't cleaned it up after the guys have fitted it unfortunately. Um, centre muffler to reduce drain when you're driving down the freeway. Um, centre flexible joint to allow some movement when the car is obviously with the front engine pipe connected to the engine and the back hanging off the rear mufflers. And I just um, then from here we've changed what we call the positive shift kit bush. Now this bush replaces the factory rubber bush which tends to cause the whole transmission to move around a lot like a big bowl of jelly and that distinctly improves your shift mechanism without mechanically changing any of the components. So this bush here and this bush here is a, to give you an idea, it's a $60 part. Really good quick update. Um, underbody brace which stiffens up the chassis because remember when you're cornering the loads and moving sideways through here. Um, front anti-lift kit, now this changes the roll centre position on the back of the arm, drops it down a little bit, gives it a little bit more caster which gives you more negative camber as you turn the steering which is good for um, cornering and reduces outer tyre wear on the front of your tyres. Um, and obviously adjustable front sway bar and I'll point out here the um, replacement of the Subaru um, sway bar has these lock, lock kits in it so it stops the sway bar moving sideways on its suspension travel which is a really good little feature of the white line components. And look up under here you'll notice we've changed the front steering rack mounts from the rubber rack mount to a urethane rack mount. And last but not least, oh, the rack mount stops the rack moving under heavy cornering which also firms up and sharpens up your steering to the front of the car and gives it a bit, it actually just feels better when you're driving the car. I mean that's the bottom line isn't it? And around this side of getting my trusty cameraman to change shots, um, one of the really good kits is the front roll centre kit. So it's got new lower ball joints and new 
um, outer tie rod ends. Now what that does is changes the position of the roll centre in the front of the car. Now the roll centre in the front of any car is the theoretical position of which mechanically the suspension pivots around. Now on a Subaru and an Evo it's sort of somewhere around about here. If you lower your car on some models, particularly Evo 9s and Evo 10s, the roll centre is actually mechanically below the ground level. Now the difference between that and the centre of gravity, which is the weight or the mass of the car, obviously with an engine everything up top, the centre of gravity is higher, that distance is the mechanical advantage of what the car body rolls over. So if you can move the roll centre up closer to the centre of gravity, then obviously you're going to reduce your body roll, hence the advantage of the roll centre kit. So of course up the front here, last but not least, we've got the high flow metal catalytic converter. Um, split collector off the back of the turbo which I can show you on a separate video shot on the advantages and benefits of how that works and then of course the custom retune of the whole package bringing it together with performance upgrades such as the 30 kilowatt guarantee the SI drive so the SI drive switching on the centre console not only will you feel a difference in throttle response but you'll also feel a massive difference in power factory standard, there's no difference in power in the SI drive at all, it's just the speed at which the throttle butterfly opens and closes. And of course with all the fantastic white line suspension and chassis bracing, this car's going to go around corners and be a real fun car to drive, and that all brings it together as one complete kit. So if you're looking for this upgrade, it's called the MRT Performance Power XB Kit, and the suspension package is basically what I'd call a complete suspension package for that whole car bundled together at the same time, certainly some, some, some savings in costs and fitting and labour because it's all being done together and of course with all these parts fit at the same time with all this suspension we will also give the factory warranty guarantee and lifetime warranty on the parts when you buy those parts through MRT Performance. So there you have it, that's hopefully given you some really good information on learning more about your Subaru. Wherever you are in the world I hope you've gain some information that can help you improve your own particular car and if you've got the opportunity to choose MRT, of course give us a call, pick up the phone, chase us and follow us on Twitter, YouTube, Flickr, Facebook, of course you can come to the MRT website, make a comment on the forums and um, look forward to helping you again in the future with your Subaru, Mitsubishi or Mazda.